Professions suffered by his predecessors. 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya'i wa al-Mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah, salatu wa salamu alayka ya Habiballah, salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiyallah, wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, we welcome you to another episode of our series, Professions of Our Pious Predecessors, Rahimahumullahu Ta'ala. Let's start our episode by listening to an excellence of reciting Salat al Nabi Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi wa Alihi wa Sallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu has stated, Reciting Salat upon the noblest Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi wa Alihi wa Sallam removes the sins so quickly that even the water cannot extinguish the fire with such swiftness and sending salam upon the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is better than setting the slaves free. Subhanallah azza wa jal. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Make the firm intention that you will keep on reciting Salat and Salam upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. There are many blessings of reciting Durood and Salam upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the blessed Ahadith and also in the blessed sayings of our pious predecessors Rahimahumullahu Ta'ala Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Dear viewers of Madani Channel, before Listening to this episode makes some good intentions. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated Niyatul mu'mini khayrun min amali That is a believer's intention is better than his action. Therefore, before listening to this episode, make sure you make some good intentions so that you gain lots and lots of rewards. Firstly, make the intention that you will listen to this episode from the start till the end. You will listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Almighty and whatever you learn from this episode, you'll try to share it with your family and friends. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Islam is a complete religion and has to be followed in every field of human life. Islam not only shows us the methods of worship but it also guides us fully about the matters of life so that no field of life can be incomplete and Muslims may not be in need of any others except Islam in any act. Some forms of acquiring wealth are permissible and some are impermissible. For earning halal sustenance, it is essential to acquire what is permissible and to abstain from what is impermissible. A person should act upon permissible manners and avoid that which is impermissible. In today's bayan, inshallah, we'll be listening to a few madri pearls regarding successful businessmen and then we'll move towards our main topic that is the profession or the source of income of Sayyidina Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, a pious predecessors like the blessed companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een or the righteous people of the past used to be truthful, honest, just, pious, selfless and used to have the passion for goodness and helping others and with all these attributes they would continue to follow the Islamic business principles that's why Muslims were prosperous in their blessed errors but now Muslims have developed evils like injustice untruth deception usury selfishness etc in their characters except those who are protected by Allah Almighty now, business conditions are not good due to different types of impermissible and defect acts. Acting upon the rules 
prescribed by the Holy Quran and the blessed ahadith of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam if we earn our sustenance learn the principles of Islamic business and act upon them if we follow our pious predecessors rahimahumullah ta'ala in the matters of business then inshallah azza wa jal there will be a great change in the Islamic society and Muslims will prosper once again Furthermore, the most important thing is that the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal and His beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alihi wa Alihi wa Sallam will be attained. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Dear viewers of Madani channel, in Bahari Shariat, Sadr Sharia, Badr Tariqa, Hazrat Allama Mufti Muhammad Amjad Ali Azami, Ali Rahmatullahi Al Qawi, has mentioned the purpose of commerce. Let's listen to this summary. The more the needs of people are, the more difficult it is to satisfy them. If a person starts doing all the work alone to fulfill his needs, for example, he cultivates the land by himself, then grinds the grains himself, sews the clothing after weaving it, then he may fail and may not spend his days easily. It is a perfect system of Allah Almighty that He Azza wa Jal has divided all humans in their different fields and different types so that every group may do their own work and the collaborative effort of all these groups may fulfill the needs of all people. For example, some people cultivate, whilst others weave the cloth, some do other types of work with their own hands. Those who cultivate also need clothes. Similarly, those who weave the clothes are dependent on those who cultivate for getting grain, etc. Everyone depends on each other. That's why the need was felt that whatever was produced should be sent to each other so that everyone could fulfill their own needs and there could be no trouble in their work as well. Things started then and the matters of buying and selling and every kind of other matter, etc. came into being. Dear viewers of Madani channel, undoubtedly commerce or trade is a good and permissible act that's why the blessed companions radiallahu ta'ala and humajma'een of our beloved prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would trade with each other also they used to trade in clothes etc similarly islamic scholars and pious people after them did the same but never disregarded the business principles as prescribed by the islamic law it is stated in verse 29 of Surah An Nisa, part 5. Translation of Quran, Kanzul Iman. O believers, consume not unjustly the property of one another among yourselves, except it be a trade by your mutual consent. Imam Ahmad bin Hajar Makki Shafi'i rahmatullahi ta'ala has said in this blessed verse, Allah Azza wa Jal has clearly stated that trade is permissible on condition that it is to be done with the party's consent and consent can be obtained provided that there is no cheating or corruption. Therefore, the one who wants to seek the pleasure of Allah Almighty and his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam, the one who wants safety of his religion and the world and the hereafter and the respect should make efforts for his religion and should never follow anything related to cheating or corruption in business. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, remember, it is a human need to desire and earn halal sustenance for one's parents, siblings, family members by means of business in a permissible way. The attention to earn halal sustenance has been focused many times in the Holy Quran. Allah Azza wa has even persuaded and commanded us to continue with its search. It is stated in verse 11 of Surah Naba, part 30, translation of Quran, Kanzul Iman, and we have made the day for seeking livelihood. It is stated in another place, translation of Quran, Kanzul Iman, then disperse in the land and seek the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah. Sallu ala al Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Sayyidina Ka'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that once the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam was sitting with the blessed companions 
radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. In the meantime, a young man passed by. Having seen a powerful and a strong man, the blessed companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in said, with that he could spend his youthfulness and strength in the way of Allah. Upon this, the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, if this person has come out to look for sustenance for his small children, so he is in the way of Allah. And if this person has come out to look for sustenance for his old parents, so he is in the way of Allah. And if he has come out to protect himself from begging people or from eating haram, so he is in the way of Allah Azza wa Jal. However, if he has come out for pride, so he is in the way of shaitan. Tubu ila Allah, astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, have you noticed the importance of the great effort to serve parents and to bear the expenses of children that the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam regarded that person as the one who is in the way of Allah azza wa jal. Remember, those who keep halal and haram in view, besides the truth, justice and honesty, do trade, jobs or work as laborers, are not only the beloved ones of Allah azza wa jal, but they will also be resurrected with the good people, insha'Allah azza wa jal. Furthermore, they will be forgiven on the day of judgment. The brightness of their faces will be like the full moon. Let's listen to four sayings of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam about the excellence of trade and general work so that the importance of trade may become more evident. Dear viewers of Madani channel, from this, we also get guidelines of how a successful trader or a businessman should be. Listen carefully. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated a true and honest businessman will be with the Prophet's Siddiqeen and the martyrs subhanallah azza wa jal in another hadith the holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa has stated allah azza wa jal loves the professional who works for his livelihood true believer subhanallah azza wa jal the one who works with his own hands till the evening and feels tired he does the evening after being forgiven subhanallah azza wa jal subhanallah in another hadith, the Holy Prophet ﷺ has stated, The one who desires for the world in a halal way to protect himself from begging, to make much effort for his family members and to be kind to his neighbor, will meet Allah Azza wa Jal in the state that his face will be as bright as the full moon. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, we are listening to the importance of trade and the guidelines that a successful businessman should follow. Dear viewers of Madani channel, let's move forward to our main topic that is the profession of Sayyidina Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib. The beloved Prophet's uncle, Sayyidina Abu al-Fadl Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib was born before the incident of the elephants. Although he who had accepted Islam prior to the Battle of Badr, he kept it hidden. As he who was forced into the expedition of Badr by the disbelievers of Makkah, the beloved Prophet announced Nobody should kill Abbas because he is here under cohesion. It was in this battle of Badr that he radiallahu ta'ala anhu was taken captive but later freed after paying the ransom. The noble companions radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een acknowledged his excellence and would consult him in important matters. Passing away at the age of 88 years, his funeral was led by Amir al muminin Sayyidina Usman Ghani radiallahu ta'ala anhu before being laid to rest in Jannatul Baqi. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Sayyidina Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma as a businessman, he started trading primarily in perfume and clothing. His reputation as a fair businessman was well known. Sayyidina Afif radiallahu ta'ala anhu stated, I needed to purchase some clothing and perfume from Makkah for my family. So I went to the trader of Makkah, Sayyidina Abbas 
radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. When the delegation of Dharan visited the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, they presented several gifts to him, including a silk garment adorned with gold. The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam gifted it to Sayyidina Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, who responded, what will I do with this? Alluding to the prohibition of silk and gold for men. The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam replied, extract the gold from it to make jewelry for your women and spend it upon your family. Subhanallah. As for the silk, sell it and make use of the proceeds. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu promptly complied, selling the garment to a Jew for 8,000 dirhams. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, as you heard, Sayyidina Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a successful businessman who traded in perfume and clothing and he was also very generous. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu freed 70 slaves and donated his house for the expansion of Masjid al-Nabawi. Subhanallah azza wa jalla. The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam himself noted Sayyidina Abbas's generosity and altruism. Once when the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was preparing for a battle, Sayyidina Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu arrived. Seeing him, the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam remarked, this is the uncle of your Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He is the most generous soul in Arabia and someone who maintains his family relations. Subhanallah azza wa Dear viewers of Madani channel, Today we have heard about the successful businessman Sayyidina Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. We have heard that a successful businessman as he who does trade with good intentions, does trade by halal and permissible manners, learns shari principles and does business for his small children and old parents, does not speak lies but speaks only the truth. A successful businessman is honest, not deceitful. His business does not prevent him from offering salah, observing fasts, performing hajj, paying zakat, etc. He does permissible trade in a permissible manner, keeps his promises, does not find faults with the goods at the time of purchasing them, does not excessively praise goods at the time of selling them, does not become lazy in paying back his debts. Dear viewers of Madani channel, we end this episode with a dua. May Allah Azza wa bestow us with life and death according to His will. May Allah Azza wa be pleased with us forever. And may we succeed in this world and in the hereafter. Dear viewers of Madani channel, inshallah Azza wa we'll be back next week with another episode. Keep watching Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Professions of our pious predecessors 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 